Hi, happy first day of fall. I'm so excited, I can't hardly stand it. I know that you're probably so sick of me talking about fall. But anyway, I was getting dressed this morning and I was realizing that when fall comes, or even anywhere close to fall comes, I switch over a lot of my style things and I thought I would just share with you the first, you know, the, the few things that I do always switch over to. So I'm out here in my yard sitting on my little stone bench, it's a little cold, um, but I've got my warm coffee in my new Starbucks coffee uh, mug. So I'm really loving that. It's been so far so fun and um, I've only used it a few times, but I'm loving it. So I've got that there to keep me warm. Um, basically, first off, I noticed when I was getting dressed that I tend to wear different makeup which I think is kind of an odd thing, but I do. I guess others do too. I guess colors change. That's that's mostly what it is. Let me grab the few things I have to show you. Okay, so this, first of all, let's talk, um, it's usually the colors that change in the fall on makeup items for me, and I'm sure for most people actually. And one of the things that I always grab, and I think I've had this for a couple few years, and I hate to even really kind of show it because I don't think you, can, you can't get it anymore. I'm not even sure where I got it, but I know that you can replicate these generalized looks, and I just wanted to show you what I usually go for. So, um, this was a, is a Tarte palette that I got, I believe it was like in a set from QVC at one time. Um, but because it, it doesn't say anything other than Tarte High Performance Naturals on it. But anyway, these colors are the ones that I gravitate toward every fall. Let's see if you can see those. They're just the most perfect colors for me. And I love them. And there's so many of them that can work for so many different things. You've got crease shades, you've got um, high, you know, highlight shades, you've got like inner corner light parts, you've got darker cranberries, and I love all the bronzy um, greenish tones too. So these are perfect and I'm sure you can find similar ones in palettes that you own, but I always bring this out this time of year and I mean I hardly even touch it any other time for some strange reason, but yeah, that's the way that works. Now for lips, and I'm wearing it today, I love MAC Whirl. It's a pencil and it's just the most perfect, perfect color. Let's see if I can draw this on here. I don't know if you can see any of that but much, but there we go. The lighting isn't the best here. It's kind of overcast today. So I love MAC Whirl, and usually I line my lips, and then I fill them in and add a tiny bit of gloss in the center. But if I don't want to go through all that trouble, something very, very similar is the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. And I really, really am enjoying this color also. It's a perfect fall shade. I usually darken up the lips with more of a brick, kind of a red color. And then this is Bond Girl next to it. So the Whirl is a bit darker, more of a brown, and the Bond Girl has more of a, a brick, kind of a brick corally red, strangely enough. <laughs> it sounds like a brick corally red, but that's kind of what it is. So, are you fogging up? It's humid, hold on. Okay, so those are the lip colors that I use almost all the time in the fall. And then I switch perfumes usually too. And I recently purchased this one, and this is kind of the epitome of what I do. In general, my perfumes are always very light, clean, and many times have a citrusy type of a scent to them. So I'm moving around in the fruit bowl in the fall, <laughs> and I'm going a little bit more on the spicier side and a different fruit, not citrus, but pear. This is the Marc Jacobs pear. And I've really been enjoying this. It's it's definitely got a light scent to it, and it's got a bit of a fruity scent, but that's not, you know, you don't think fruit bowl. I love, it's a little more ambery, kind of darker, more spicy, and I just really, really have been enjoying this. This is a perfect fall scent for me, because I like it to be a little bit um, less, you know, citrusy, and so that one's a perfect one for me. And so jewelry wise, in the fall, I always wear my gold pieces. I usually wear um, either white golds, platinums, or silvers the rest of the year. I don't know why. I mean, I do put on my gold things every once in a while, but in the fall specifically, I go almost all gold. I really enjoy. I think it goes better, more with the colors that I wear, and therefore I, I love my gold. So I get out my gold pieces, and I'm always putting some sort of a necklace by the way, this is something I do. If you have any kind of a gold or gold-toned necklace that has a clasp and it has um, 
circles or ovals or whatever that you can clasp things to, you can turn your, your necklace into like a lariat. And that's what I did here. I just clasped it closer to the neck and then I just put the rest of it down my shirt. <laughs> It turns it into a lariat. I love to do that too. So anyway, that's one of the tips that I, I always do. And I just get out my different gold bracelets. And these are the ones I have on today. But um, love gold. I got my little gold um, threader dangles, you know. I wear, wear my like uh, topazes, like my browns and my topazes and those kind of things. And I get on my uh, gold watches too. So I always bring the gold out, in other words. Um, anything I have, that's what I tend to wear in the fall. And as for accessories and purses, I tend to go with browns because it goes with the fall theme and so forth. And I like crossbodies. And so this one has been my favorite for the last couple years. But I also have a few others that are similar, you know, smaller brown crossbody type bags. They're perfect for running around, doing your errands, going to the farmer's market, heading to the pumpkin patch, whatever you want to do. They're simple because they're crossbody. And this is the one I've been loving the most the last couple years. And so this is the one I have out now too that I've been using a lot lately, unless it rains. And if it rains, I change out into one of my uh, other ones. So <laughs> this is the one I use if it's not raining in the fall. And then, fashion-y wise, it's time to bring out the boots. You know how that goes. I mean, I cannot wait to get into the boots. So this is a pair of boots. I've shown these before. They are Nine West. They're little booties. And I love these because the heel isn't so high that it's a problem. I mean, you can run around town all over the place. It's a wedge, which makes it comfortable. It's got um, rubbery stuff on the bottom, so you're not slipping around anywhere. Easy on, easy off. Kind of a skin tone for me-ish color. Goes with everything. You can wear this, these with pants, jeans, corduroys, you know, any color of pant pretty much. Um, skirts. These really work well. So I'm loving these. I also have them in gray and I'm considering getting them in black this year because they're just so perfect. So I love these. They're Nine West and um, perfect time to get out the boots, which is very, very exciting. And what else besides boots, of course? Scarves. You have to get out the scarves, especially on those days when it finally gets cool enough that you can do it without sweating to pieces. But I always choose different snuggly type colors, fall tones, usually in either like a cranberry, raspberry, berry color, or I think this is so cute to throw in with like a jean jacket. It's a, just a, this is from J. Jill last year. So perfect. I love infinity scarves, number one. Number two, something like this is just, it can go with absolutely anything. You throw this on with a jean jacket and you've got your little, little boots on and you've got your little crossbody bag and you've got your Starbucks and you are all set for pumpkin patching. Pumpkin fun. <laughs> for going out and having fall fun. So anyway, I really appreciate you joining me this morning and sitting out here with me and talking about fall things because today is the first day of fall and you know how I feel about fall. I love it. So tell me, what are your favorite things? What is the one thing that you switch over either fashion wise, makeup wise, fragrance wise, whatever? What is the one thing that you, or at least one or two or whatever things that you always switch to? I'd love to hear it. So thanks so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.